Here we go guys, this is our free camp for the next couple of nights. Bloody cold morning this morning. I think it was like 10 degrees, wasn't it? In here it was, yeah. Yeah, before we turned the heater on. I didn't think it was going to be like this out here. Um, so, cooked up a bit of banana damper. And I think it's a little bit overdone on the bottom. Oh, it's not the worst. Not bad for a first attempt, mate. Yeah, my first go. I mean, I can't be great at everything. <laughs> So humble. Let's have a look. Looks like banana bread. Oh yeah, that looks, looks good. Looks good. Just don't eat the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you reckon. Nearly as good as mine. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mm -mm. Good brekkie? Mm -hmm. Good brekkie on a cold morning? That gives me some butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I was not expecting that. That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Wow. So it's literally only about 150 metres from the car park. And then you can see down here, you got the big, um, big steel steps. So we'll make our way down there. And that, which pulls that one? Burn pool? Or Fortescue Falls, that must be. Anyway, we'll go down there, I'm sure there'll be a sign. We're about to come around the corner to Fern Pool and it uh, looks like everyone's here. I'll show you. Daddy, put your feet in. So these feet apparently suck on your feet and chew the dead skin off. Maybe my feet are too gross because they're not even having to go. layers in the rock is so amazing so many like different colors and you can just see everything like how it formed thousands of years ago it's just incredible eh that's like the color the color is just so different to anything we've sort of seen so far and just the way it's all sheared off it's pretty amazing to look at all right i'm gonna do it i'm gonna jump in here there's no one around nice and quiet and the water looks absolutely beautiful. I'm getting in. That is absolutely freezing. Did you oh. miss it? Yes. Oh my god, that is so cold. Well, the water looks beautiful, but it is take your breath away cold. I reckon that's as cold as Emma Gorge on the gib. Yeah, I was in and out, <laughs> but I did it. That's all that matters. Let's go. So I probably should explain, this walk here 
you come from the Fortescue Falls, you walk through the gorge, which is Dale's Gorge, and then it takes it to the other end, you get back up and you walk along the top of the gorge. Now honestly I thought the walk was going to be just a, a wide open breezy walkway. Once again I didn't really look into what the grade of the walk was, but it's like a four, so <laughs> it's a little bit of clambering. We didn't wear our water shoes because we thought we wouldn't be walking through it, but yeah, turns out there's a fair bit of water here. So we've taken a wrong turn somewhere, and this isn't the way out. Oh no, there you go. Up there. There's stairs up there. <laughs> Lucky, we were about to turn around and start heading back. So this is Circular Pool, but there was a rock slide here, I don't know how long ago, but recently, and they won't let you in anymore, just due to safety. So you can only see that from up the top. There you go guys, nice easy walk along the top and that's pretty much uh, the Dales Gorge end of Karajini done. Mm. Only took us, how long you reckon? Like three hours. So you don't have to give yourself the whole day, you probably will because you're not really going to drive to the other end of Karajini but <laughs> yeah you don't need that long here so even if you are camped a little bit further away from here than like we are, it's very doable. Now we're going to head back to the ute and cook up some uh, cheeseburgers for lunch. How cool, we just here cooking lunch and this little dingo roams past. Not worried about us at all. Mm. Just Healthy looking like, thing. Yeah, just like walking down the path. <laughs> so I got a shot of it, I was kind of following at a distance <laughs> and then it started looking at me through the bushes and I was like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> Who says you can't have gourmet on the road, eh? Gourmet cheeseburgers. Probably. Can't blame him. I'd come over for hamburgers too. he be near the mum. No. Well, he be in. How's it going? Well, he be in the mum. No. <laughs> well, well, nah. Mouthful. All right, you say it now. Circular pool. <laughs> it's our last thing to check off the list today. So we've been a bit lazy and we've driven down here. We could have walked it from where we were at the other lookout, but kids are a bit over it so we walk down here it looks like it's literally going to take five ten minutes to get in not even that just there. yeah well there you go it's just there oh, geez. that gives me the heebie-jeebies all right we're just going for a bit of a drive up the hill whoa don't mind the sound if it's, it's no good, it's <laughs> yeah. on the phone because we didn't bring a camera. Yeah, I'm transferring stuff from the GoPro at the moment. <laughs> Be a bit of a rough track if you can't tell from my head <laughs> bobbling around. This is cool though. So we saw <laughs> this track came up the hill, so the sun's going down right now. And it should be an awesome sunset up here. Yeah, but yes, you won't get a caravan up here, I don't reckon. No, not at all. <laughs> Ready for this? I haven't even dropped the air at a time. <laughs> well, 
we weren't expecting it, but it's definitely worth it. Have a look at that. There's literally views everywhere you look. It's incredible up here. You feel like you're on top of the world. So if you don't have a van, you can actually come camp up here. There's a few fires. People have been up here recently by the looks. Uh, I wouldn't pull a van up there at all. But if you want to get here, just there's one track basically goes through all the campsites. Uh, just keep following it. You just you can't go wrong. But it does get a little bit sketchy. We didn't film most of it. We only did a few bits. We weren't expecting it. We thought it was just going to be the track like the rest of it all the way up. But yeah, it gets a little bit hairy. can't actually see but that is so steep it is very steep so steep and so like shaley and I, rocky i knew it was steep coming up but it's another level going back down <laughs> but um i've got the the hill descent on i tell you what the thing is awesome carl's I've, just doing everything i've used it once before it's slow going but it knows what to do Look at that guys, another amazing sunset. Got the fire going. So we're gonna move on tomorrow. I'm gonna head down to Tom Price and uh, get a bit of a plan to explore the other side of Karajini because it's it's quite divided, the National Park. You got this end with uh, Dales Gorge and then you got the other side with all the other stuff like Hammersley Gorge, I think it is. So um, yeah, we'll head there tomorrow, catch up with a few friends. But yeah, for tonight, I'm just gonna kick back, enjoy what's left of this sunset, enjoy the fire. So you're probably wondering why I chucked a damper on the coals. So a couple of days ago, I was watching another YouTube channel and uh, he cooked a damper on the coals from the fire the night before. And uh, we ended up having a couple of uh, overripe bananas left over. So we did that damper yesterday and I thought, well, stuff it, I'll do another one and chuck it on the coals and see what happens. I don't have a whole lot of hope of this coming out any good, but Oh well, at least we've had a crack. We'll pull it out now and have a look. Oh, good work. So like I said, I didn't have high hopes. Uh, it definitely hasn't risen as much as the one the other day. I'm just gonna break it open. Oh, it's good inside. Yeah. What do you do with all that charcoal -y bit on the outside? I don't know, eat it. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> um, that's glass. Have a taste, see what it's like. Still it's tastes alright. Good. Yeah, yeah, it still tastes good. So, um, I think half the problem was I didn't have it in a big enough ball so that it would puff up and then minimal outside surface area. So I might have another go some other time. But hey, at least some of it's edible. It's not a complete waste. The inside bit's good. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Have a go at this guys. This is our camp. So um, we've pulled up at, I think it's the entrance towards uh, Hammersley Gorge. It's a little free camp off the side of the road. It's nice, it's just a good open area, plenty of room. And uh, look, we've, um, we've caught up with our mates, the Cuttings. 
So we haven't seen these guys for ages. Oh, Jesus, the flies here are still pretty bad. So we haven't seen these guys since Royalty Beach. Say good day, Cuttings. Woo! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey, so these are the guys that, they are the reason we've got a boat, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so if you remember back to our episode down at Waralti Beach, they had their tinny out and we caught a heap of squid and cuttlefish and then we pretty much went and bought a boat. So uh, yeah, massive thank you to these guys. We wouldn't have one otherwise. <laughs> but um, yeah, because they kept going clockwise when we changed our plans and went uh, up the guts and then coming um, down south from the top of WA. So. Yeah, that's right. We've finally got the chance to um, meet up with them again. Finally crossing over. So we're going to go do a little bit of exploring of uh, Karajini and uh, just hang out. So good to see you again, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>